morning, good morning, welcome to my channel. I showed these in the groups yesterday and the acetate tags. The difference is, if anyone else has done them, it's not double-sided, but they look like they are. I guess it's the way I stitch them, but they look cute, I love them. Anyway, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial how I did these. And first and foremost is you need to have some tickets. And with those tickets, we'll do that first. We're going to ink front to back. Oops, I'm all sticky from the glue. I'm only going to do two because for some reason my camera's playing up and I've already done this video once before. So I do it the side it hasn't got no writing as well, just in case, you know, I haven't cut them correctly. So, ink them well. I'll just do four tickets because you're going to put the tickets front to back. You only need one Tim Holtz flower per tag, but you need double tickets. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I didn't ink the back. More sticky because I've made quite a few. Because I'm going to use these as my sig signature piece for my journals. I just love them so much. Hopefully I don't start coughing, because that's another thing that disturbed the last video. I just can't stop coughing these days. But anyway, hopefully all clear up in all good time. Should have checked what's on my tickets, but anyway, it's all right. This one says curiosities, but it'll do. I don't know if I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Just in case, we do the backs. I just love these. So that's four. And what we'll do, I'll just move that out of the way for a moment. And what we're going to do is get our acetate. Now with acetate, because it's so thick, that's why um, I can only do it um, with um, one side. I know I've seen specimen cards and all that, but I've never seen tags. And why isn't this going through? Oh, wrong way. So I cut mine. Like I said, it depends which ones you use. If you use the bigger Tim Holtz ones, I would use um, make your measurements. I'm just going to get... Because I just, whoops. I'd make your measurements at three and a half because they just look nice up with that width. So I would make them three and a half by six, which will cut those to size. Three and a half by six. I love this cutter. So you need to have a really sharp uh, cutting tool. And this cuts brilliantly. But I even slice through it twice because it does have its own issues. So we're only going to cut two. And I think this is 12 inch. Yeah. So I'm going to make them six inches wide. And there they are. They're cut. Now. I'm going to move that out of the road because that's painful in the way. And I'll bring back this one. Now, if you're confident in cutting your ends without a um, see, I'm normally confident, but if you're not, don't do it. 
I think that's pretty even. Yeah, you can't really tell with these anyway, but you might if you were sewing. You're also going to need these and you're going to ink them well on the edges. Now, also with these, you can also um, emboss the ends. Get one of your, your embossing dobber. It's a clear one, this one. And dob the ends. And they come out beautiful. I haven't got any here to show you. Plus, if I put the tool on, it's going to be so noisy. And we don't want that. Now, when you ink these, you ink them front to back. Because they look cute as. I'll try and keep this video as short as possible. Because, um, I don't know. Um, I hate doing sewing ones and I actually hate doing tutorials full stop because my English is very dicey at times especially when I'm on video I explain things incorrectly and I know you sort of understand what I mean but I do get picked on about it and it's quite embarrassing and that's actually stopped me doing tutorials because I actually get picked on about it on YouTube and it can get to be a bit much but anyway it's all good I'm not going to stress about it you know, um, it is what it is. My family pick on me. Like, my first language is actually um, Maltese. And that's possibly why I've got an issue sometimes with my language. Oh, that's not the flower I wanted. I want this one. Because I've got the big one there. Because with these little, with the thinner ones, I like to use the two plants. Or, yeah, flowers or whatever you like to call them. I'm not dabbing it enough. There you are. They look good. I'm not going to show you the sewing side of things, but I'll explain it really well. And with this, like I said, glue doesn't really hold them. I've tried all that. It doesn't work. It really doesn't. So... What I do is first I plonk this one down and I, I put the, oops, I put the word down first and I didn't ink it well. And I like my things to stand out, even though the stitching will make it stand out. So what I do is I ink where the word is. And because I'm sure of my placement, the glue is playing tricks on me. Okay. And I only put a little bit because if you put too much, you're going to get glue all over your um, project and you don't want that. Whoops. So I've got a little bit of glue there. And what I do, I dab the flower all over it. Or not all of it, but to get it prepared you know because you don't need much glue because it doesn't stick it down just remember that um i'm all gooey because i've made quite a few of these and they've left me gooey and i thought i'd come on and just show you and explain to you what i've done so the placement of that one will be to the side because i'm putting got to remember I'm putting two down I just love them I love 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 these oh I didn't ink that properly too busy yakking oh well you get that don't you in the big city I'm not actually in the big city but I feel like it sometimes it's getting smaller towns since COVID is are getting bigger you know, and noisier because people have actually come out of the city. They're realising that country life might be good, and it is. So I'm just going to run the glue 
gently on it because you don't want to glue it too much like i said it's not going to help you you're going to just make your tag all gooey i'm going to put a little bit of glue there and i'm going to place that one like so i'm keeping it away from the edge because i'm going to sew and then i'm going to get another sticker i mean the word the word doesn't have to be the same as long as it's the same width because you're going to sew around that word as well there you go so i'm going to put that to the side they need to dry completely or you're going to have issues with your sewing machine and you don't want that um i'll explain to you how to have oh i bug it up a little bit there so I'm going to get that because I want to plunk it there. I know my placement, so if you don't, put your flower down first, which is what I should have done, but I didn't. And then what I do, I just use the glue from the, the sticker from the uh, ticket, sorry, or the word, to um, get a bit of um, glue to adhere temporarily. I don't use too much. And like I said, you need to wait till your glue is dry before you run this through the sewing machine or you're going to have issues with your sewing machine. And that will sit perfectly on that one try and get some of this glue off okay so I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to bring the two I prepped and sewn before we started and there they are they're the same as the other two except the other two aren't sewn so what I did I zigzagged all around the edges then I zigzagged from the top to there, pulled my needle up and went to this part and zigzagged there. Then I went around and sewn all around my word. See how cool it looks? So now you got all this thread. Now I'll explain the sewing machine. You've got to up your stitching by at least two notches to the higher um spread of stitching because it's still going to stitch tightly so I do it two notches up um, I've got a Singer sewing machine and mine just says um, it states you know look it's got the buttons on the sides that says low and high I go higher I think they're at I'll just give you the details where mine are at both are near five and that gives you just that bigger stitch, a little bit bigger, and it helps the sewing machine go through it because it does struggle. So there they are there, and this is what I do. I basically get, get it and snip the threads as closely as possible. Snip. Snip there because I had to... So, yeah, you need to sort of adjust your thread. Now, if you're going to do these, do them and then change your needle on your sewing machine. That's my suggestion because, believe you me, it feels like your machine is struggling. At times you feel like you need to guide your tags, especially if you've got thick acetate like I have. And it feels like a bullet's going in and out of the um, sewing machine. Oh, you yeah, know, the needle feels like it's, you know, firing little bullets during the time it's sewing. It's not. But I'd say I would change your needle once you finish doing all these. See, I like sewing everything, so um, it just looks good. Whoops. So your nipple, 
that loose thread. There's another piece there. I've got my husband's glasses on, but I can't see properly with them either. They're magnifiers. But anyway, all good. Now, we go the other side and snip the thread there. They just look neater. Wearing his glasses is good because I'm actually straighter. Oh, there. There you go. How gorgeous are they? How gorgeous. And you turn them the other side. How gorgeous are they? Just beautiful tags. So any anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching and subscribing to my channel. I'm glad um, I was able to get through this. For some reason, when I did the last video, I started coughing. Well, not for some reason. I started coughing. And then um, it wouldn't... Um, it paused, but it wouldn't unpause. So I don't know what happened. Now, don't worry about... See how they're starting to lift up because it does the fabric glue no glue holds these um once they're in your journal they're actually flat so it won't matter so anyway guys like i said thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel and i hope you enjoyed this i've made heaps now i love them i just think they're gorgeous they look cute I prefer the zigzag stitch too, by the way, instead of the straight stitch. You've got more control over because this is a straight stitch. And look, your machine doesn't like acetate. It will try to move. Where with zigzag, you've got that control over it. And it's just gorgeous. So any guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. Once again, take care and see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.